All right, good morning. Today, I'm gonna to talk about why I can't use the pH meter. All right, really nice morning, but why can't I use the pH meter? Or any type of meter, like when to measure the nutrient level. Well, it's really simple. I'm trying to show you the easiest, simplest way to grow microgreens and your own leafy greens. And traditional hydroponics tends to be a little expensive. There's a lot of equipment, huge learning curve. And I want to show you that you can get started with a container, some nutrients, and a pool noodle, and you can get started in hydroponics. You can learn the basics. And you can grow a lot of leafy greens. You can grow some vegetables. I've got over 100 videos showing a lot of things that I've grown over the years without once checking the pH, without once checking the nutrient level. You know, now we're not talking about the nutrient level as far as the level of the liquid in here. We're talking about the total dissolved solids that when the plant uses the nutrients out of the water, you know, it needs to be replenished. I don't have a meter to do that. And the simple reason is that once I do get one, and once I do start checking the pH, then I can't tell people that I don't check the pH. That if I say, hey, I've done this without checking the pH, they'll go, well, I saw you made a video and you do have a meter and you know how to use one. So it opens the door for a lot of negativity and doubt, and I just don't want that. So by me never buying a pH meter, and by me never buying a, a meter to check the nutrient levels, I take away that doubt and then I can help all of you you know that I'm telling the truth that I've never once checked that now see if you're like CB and you come in and you've got all of your stuff running off of a couple of tanks and you got time to come in and check that tank at night adjust and, and check it then that's cool but when I come home I'd have to take that meter and check that one and check that one and that one and that one and that one and this one and that one and that one and that one and those over on the table and those inside of the shade house and those over there see what I'm saying there's a lot of containers that's a lot of testing and when I go to test it then I'd have to go back and add pH up or pH down to adjust the pH these would probably take just a dropper, so I'd be in there with a dropper. That's all it takes for less than a gallon. Do all of them, let it set, come back and retest it to make sure it's right. Test, 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 test. And if it's not right, I have to go back and put more drops. Wait, test, 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 test. You get the idea, right? So I can't do that every night. If I have one or two containers, maybe I can manage that. But there's no way to do this. Um, so I don't want that to hold any of you back thinking you have to do that and that you won't go and build you a wall that you can grow lettuce and you can grow pak choy. You can grow basil, mint, all your herbs and that you can put in there. I don't want that to discourage you guys and stop you from doing something wonderful like that because somebody's telling you you need to go and get a pH meter. And I get some comments like that. And my answer is, we'll explain the hundred videos that I have why I don't use one. Explain it. So, you can see why I'm not going to get one and I'm not going to show you how to use one. It's because I've never done it myself and I don't plan on it. Now, if you want to, if you learn how to do this and you're proficient and you want to do it, check out CB's Garden and Greenhouse. They'll tell you how to do it. As for me, I'm lazy. I'm gonna do the cheap and easy way. Okay, so you figure out what works best for you. I'm gonna keep sharing this and hopefully you guys share it with your friends too. And we'll spread the word around the world, get a lot more people growing their own food. That'd be cool. So you guys, meantime, as usual, lift and inspire, keep on growing. Thank you.